Good things, Delmarva. Welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. My next guests are Helping Create Our Future Leaders, the organization ARC Educational Resource Center, helping keep kids engaged in the learning process. Joyce Sessoms and Shamira Upshur join me with more on how the program works and how you may be able to get your kids involved this summer. Good morning, ladies. Thank Good you morning. for being with us. So, Joyce, you are no stranger here and excited. Things are changing. Tell us about the program and what's going on. Well, the program has expanded since the last time we were here. Uh, our registration has increased, our enrollment rather, has increased 45%. Mm. Um, which is is amazing. So Indeed. that lets us know that the word is getting out into the community and people are realizing that we're there for, to help their students. So the students are just may need that little extra help, that little extra push. Um, yes. You had shared with us before in your educational <laughs> background, you were just saying that that was a need. And so how do, how do students get involved? Do their parents call and say, my kid is not doing well in this subject, we need some help, help? Yes. Yes, that is one of the ways that you can access our program. Another way is that um, my board of my board chair and I go out and do a lot of public speaking, mm -hmm. and from that we get a lot of referrals as well. And there's an application process, of course, um, and there's a meeting with the director, myself, and from that process we're able to figure out what the barriers are mm -hmm. to learning and as well as form a contract, a learning contract between the parent, the student, and the ARC. And from that, we partner that student with the right tutor. Okay. And all of that is a very intricate process. I imagine And it's so. very necessary because it, it proves to lend a successful outcome that's what you want to that process and you said speaking of tutors and placing them with the right person Shamira you happen to be one of the peer tutors how has that been talk a little bit about your experience and what you do with the kids so two times a week for an hour each session I tutor t uh, two students um, it's very difficult at first but you have to learn your student mm -hmm. learn the mm -hmm. learning style and how you can help them effectively um, it has been uh, really good for me to do it. I gave back to the community and I allowed someone else to see the potential that they hold. And that has to be rewarding that mm -hmm. you're able to use your gifts and talents yes. to help grow someone else. So exciting. How long have you been volunteering? For two years. Two years. So you are committed and dedicated <laughs> to the yes. effort. Now, do you see students who are, you're like, they're getting it. Wow. Yes. Yes, it's really exciting. Like when my students come in with the report cards at the end of the year mm -hmm. compared to the beginning, it's like they are a changed person. Yeah, I know that that is rewarding. Now, Joyce, there is an opportunity for um, for a summer session, yes. and we want to mention that some of the teachings actually come out of your book, Accessibility. Is that yes. correct? Yes. And will that be applied this uh, summer? Tell us about the session yes. for this summer. On June 22nd, we will start our summer program at the ARC. Uh, we can host 20 students, and part of the curriculum for the summer program is teaching from the book that I wrote, Successibility, Taking the Burden Out of Navigating High School. And what we're going to be doing is teaching students to understand what's going to be expected of them when they enter the next grade level. So we're actually preparing them ahead of time to mm -hmm. be successful. That way, if you go in with, with the information that you need, you're more likely to be successful mm -hmm. because you know what to expect. Okay, and so 20 students, of course, we've already talked about there's a bit of a process and that everyone has some accountability with the contract. Definitely. And so that is also applied for the summer session of yes. people parents are listening and are interested. Now, you're based right now, the sessions will be in Laurel. Yes. Okay. Um, how can parents uh, get in touch or contact you okay. to hear more about this or see if it's a good fit for their student? Okay. I do want to mention, I'm going to give you the telephone number. Well, let me give you the phone number now. It's area code 302-715-5318. What happens is um, we have formed a collaboration with the libraries in the state of Delaware, mm -hmm. actually, Sussex County, rather. And um, we have the access to using their space to tutor. So okay. right now, we're tutoring in Laurel, 
as well as at the Seaford Library. Okay. But if we get a student, say from Georgetown or Milton or wherever, we can call ahead and arrange a space at those libraries so that our tutor can meet the students at the library and tutor there and the parent won't be responsible for okay. bringing the child to the Laurel Center. However, the intake process, the enrollment process has to be done at the main campus in Laurel. All right. I mean, it's a wonderful opportunity. Sometimes kids just need that extra that push, extra a little push. extra help, a little extra educational attention, and the ARC program provides yes, that. Yes, we do. And so we're excited about that. If this summer program sounds like it's something that your child can use, don't hesitate to call. Successibility, how to navigate. Tell us that part again. Successibility, taking the burden mm. out of navigating high school. That's so important. Thank you, ladies, so thank much. You. And I'm just excited about the work you're doing, a high schooler herself. So thank you for your efforts, and thank you both for being you're with us this welcome. morning. All right, we have more good things after the break. So you stay with us. We'll be right back.